See, I feel like, maybe I just don't know what that means. Draw append mode. I feel like I should know what that means, but I don't. Shift D, I'm so curious about. Anyway, it's not, it's not in the standalone. You know what, let me go to, oh, nope, not that. Man, I hope this isn't too much of a tangent. It says it does something. Look at all, okay, you wanna see something? Oh, just look at that. Oh, that is, there's no reason I would probably ever need this but oh, do I want it. It's so cool and it's very expensive. Aber Bear already, ooh, you wanna see something cool you should mess around with? Um, I saw this last time when I was, oh, I messed in, on, on a few teams streams ago. Actually, is that still here? Um, if you're doing Battlefield stuff, come into the effects library, uh, titles, and pull in digital uh, glitch and see if it like inspires some things. I'm gonna wait for it to cache, but maybe we'll scrub a little bit. It's just this like tick, 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 tick. And especially in motion, it's tick, 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 tick. right? You add a little texture over that and I'm getting some like classic battlefield vibes, right? I wasn't here. Oh, still answering this question. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, beast line. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I was reading this and I was like, ooh, that's pretty interesting. And then it got like, this blind type is almost never used. And I was like, oh, maybe it's not as interesting. Oh, 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 you know what I should, should, should search for is this other thing. Draw a pen. Contextual, what does that mean? Spatial. We are hunting for some cool stuff. Okay, channel. Options. Path. Wait. It is this. Boing, 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 boing. Why not? Does there need to be no keyframes? That can't make sense, right? Because there's no path. Am I going insane? Oh, this is so cool and I don't know how it works. I can only do it like where there aren't. <gasps> Wait. Uh, <laughs> I did it. <coughs> okay. Okay. You wanna see a bouncing ball? Boing, 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 boing. And now? Oh, that is. Ooh. And then, oh, real quick, real quick. You wanna see something crazy? You can select all of these. I don't know whether you do that here or, no, let's try all these. These, right click and go to reduce points. And then you can like turn down precision and stuff, click okay. And it reduces the amount of keyframes. And then like you could go in there and like smooth or something, probably not smooth. Um, to, so it only does like the essential motion. Okay, check this out. Okay, set one keyframe on whatever you want to animate, right? You set one keyframe. And if you're paused, and then up here, you can either go to uh, draw append. I'm not quite sure what click append it does as well. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. If you need it to like hit things on a certain beat, that could be really interesting. Okay, but the other one's cooler. 
I've got a green background. Now I've got a green ball. Now I've got a little smaller green ball, right? In this transform, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna go to the beginning of my timeline, set one keyframe on center. And you know, like you can just move it around, whatever, to change that first keyframe, right? If I wanted to animate this bouncing ball to this track, and just have it being like, da, 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 and just like bouncing around or whatever, right? That could take a little while to manually keyframe. But, may I introduce you to this button, draw append. I click this center, and then I click play. Oh, animating to the music, check it out. And then when I click play, it will start recording any changes I make. So I can go, da, 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 da. And then you go back and play it, da, da. <laughs> That's cool, right? You can create a motion path just by drawing in time. If you, oh, oh gosh. Um, if you had a tablet, you could do nutty stuff. Cause you can actually be like, whoosh, whoosh. like your, your motion would be so smooth. Oh, I should, maybe I should pick up a cheap one just to mess around with that. And then really, the amount of time it would take me to, to do that, it's so quick. Okay, let's start messing around. Okay, so you check this out. Now you've got like, oh, what am I supposed to do with this, right? Because it, it, it hits it at the right point, but the motion's still funky but you can use all the other tools. If you go to flatten, then it sort of eases into that. If I crank all these up, like a hundred. Oh, that's rad. I learn so much from streams. See, like this, it isn't processing anything really. It's processing moving a mouse across the screen. If you had like extra and tons of effects on top of it and stuff, but like this is one of the lightest things you can possibly do in Fusion. See, but now as it lines up, dun, 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 dun. All right, it's so cool. You know what's crazy? I don't know if anyone has talked about this. Like, I searched. You Google Fusion and then in quotations, draw a pen. And then you have the short, you have like their documentation. and one forum post about it crashing. Okay. Okay, I moved slowly. So it set all these keyframes, right? But you can select them all, right click, polyline, do the thing, reduce points. And you see even it already, does it show you? So this is all of them and you can choose to reduce the point and it will try to reduce the number of points while maintaining that motion. So now you only have this many. Friendly Fireball, I am so open for questions. That's what these streams are all about. I would love to help you. Um, I, I, the way I run these streams is I have something that like I'm generally working on in the background kind of, but one, we get distracted all the time. That was most of this stream. And I am 
always available for question. Ba, 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 right? And now if I go back and listen, ba, 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 I, I just recorded that motion as keyframes. And then I can take those keyframes, do anything with them, like change them, tweak them, move their movement, all sorts of stuff. If I want, I can go back to this guy. If I want this bounce to just be higher, I can just grab these keyframes, move them higher, and then this will be bad because it's gonna jump here a lot. And it's so cool. 